Well, hello everyone. This is Vin Vader coming to you from Canada. Anyways, I've got some good news today. Jimmer a while back called me a liar that uh, he never would stream Kenny's tape, a sex tape that he uh, played two years earlier on one of his uh, streams, saying that I was basically a liar, that he would never, ever play this for young children. Well, I've got news for you, Jimmer. You're a liar. I finally found that tape, and guess what? It proves that you did play that videotape of Kenny talking about his sexual exploitations in front of the young children. So you're full of shit. And this is going to show people what kind of liar you truly are. This was the tape I was trying to have uh, YouTube find for me because you said it didn't never existed. Well, you piece of shit, it does exist. Anyways, people, sorry about my voice right now. I'm going through an infection, but uh, I'm on painkillers, but hopefully I'll get better. Um, but anyways, if you can't understand me, I apologize. Anyways, um, let's play this right now because here basically it has Jimmer talking to Ross because Ross at one time had Jimmer up on his uh, platform and Jimmer was basically asking to speak to me that uh, this tape never existed, that basically I should stop this foolishness of putting out the narrative that he played this for young, like seven-year-olds and up. This is parents out there, listen to this tape and listen to what he actually played for these young children. Thanks. Rasta, can I say something though, real quick? Of course. Uh, all right, so I wanted to talk to what the fuck guy um, just to say, and, and, and all the other idiots, trolls. I don't want to call you idiots, sorry. All right, so here's the thing, okay? Like, it's cool that we bust each other's balls and, like, you know, you call me a pedo and all that, and it goes back and forth on live stream. We have fun like that, all right? Because not that we love each other, it's just we're throwing shit at each other, you know? But then when you leave it up online and you, you, you make it a thing, then it comes and spills into my personal life with my children who know my, you know, stuff. And, and, and you know, like, some people contacted my ex-wife and then it got to her. And I don't condone like, any of that, though. That's not me. <clears throat> yeah, I know who it is, but it's just like, she's just like, who the fuck are these people and what the fuck, you know, like we've been di divorced for 11 years. Come on. Like she doesn't give a shit, but then it Every spills to my children. And this past summer, they're like, how come all these people are like making these weird videos about you? See, that's where it draws the line. It's just like, dude, just get rid of that shit. You don't see me putting sh pictures of you up. What the fuck guy or like Sam Hill or whoever and leave it up there. Yeah, I do a stream and I do this about terror jessica jade or whatever but i don't leave it up there forever i take it down it's gone like i don't have any videos up, calling you pedo. my only videos of you are <laughs> from your streams and they're on my old channel that no one even watches anymore but That's it's like okay ago. you know it's it's cool to go back and forth but then it's like when it becomes you know just like it, it, it doesn't matter you can leave it up if you want but you know, think twice about that and just be like, you know, is this something really I want to be known for or do? No, that's why people <clears throat> message me and say, what's up with this guy? Like, why? What the hell's wrong with him? I, I never you know, try to make it real like you. that. It's, it's more, I think it's more challenging to try to come up with something funny to go at someone with. I don't go after their real fucking, their families or anyone who doesn't come online. Like, I'll fuck with Dez because she comes on. She made herself a part of it, but... I would never bring up someone's wife. I would never dock someone. Many people have called here. I've never given out phone numbers. People that hate me. I mean, but, uh, you know, I'm not going to, like, sit here and fake that I've, I've not done things that were just, like, edging off, you know. But people were feeding me stuff at the same time. It was like, you you put that blame on me when because mm -hmm. I was the person that was streaming at the time. It comes up in the chat or whatnot. We discuss it. It's just the whole thing. And then you spin it off into a narrative that just doesn't make sense. Come on, man. Like you spin it off that I'm playing like Kenny's like sex tapes or like interview from like two years ago to the kids now. It, it, it sounds really bad. You know what I mean, the fuck does go at you pretty hard. I've actually never watched yeah, any of his videos, but he's been nice to me. I have no bad words for him. I just feel like, you know, like he's got a you know like think about that well you guys just heard him say that this was a false narrative that i was putting out there that he played this sex tape for kenny well or for the children i want you to listen to this tape because you know something 
This tape here was with Kenny talking about his homosexual experience. No seven-year-old and up should be listening to this. Uh, and it's going to show him basically, first of all, talk with Kitty about the age group that they're, they're catering to. And then after that, it's going to play this tape. And I really want you to listen to this tape, the language that's in it, because these are seven-year-olds and up. As parents, they shouldn't be listening to this. I'm no do-gooder or whatever, but when I heard this tape, it blew my mind that a grown man would play this for young children. Anyways, let's go to the tape. It, um, it's been a long time, and our audience has changed since then, clearly. Yes. Um, and we're talking about from zero to 30 years old now. Before it was probably 30 years old to 60, <laughs> to five. <laughs> but uh, oh we, we're kind of like the majority of the audience listening now, tuning in, zero to 30. Um, so it's, it's a different demographic, but... Okay, so I'll read. Who is it that's causing this? I Wendy, is that you? That's Wendy. That is Wendy. Yeah, it is. The entire time it was Wendy. Wendy, you got to turn off your uh, speaker. What do you mean you don't know? Did you did you fondle it? Did you touch it? Did you tickle the balls? A little bit. Did you let it slap you around a bit? In the face? Did you no. ever... Uh, actually, did you ever go down on him? Or any of them? Yeah, I'm assuming that went down. Um, no, no, one cock. How many cocks went in your mouth? One. Was it the white one or the black one? I thought it was more than that. It's the black one. Wow. Were you... Were you... You know how many inches it was, Ken? How many inches were that black cock? I don't remember. It was more than six. Okay. Were you able to deep throat it? I don't remember. It's a long time ago. How long were you sucking on it? I don't know, maybe like 10 minutes. That's it. 10 minutes? That's, that's it? All right. Uh, did... <laughs> Did you swallow or did you spit? He didn't come. Did you taste a little bit of pre cum? He jerked off by himself and came. It's only a few seconds. On your did chest? He... Where did you. No, just on some napkins. I didn't want to taste it. On, on the bar napkins? Toilet paper. Toilet paper. Were you on your knees when you're sucking his cock in the bathroom? Yeah. Yeah. Did you give him a blump, Ken? No. Okay. Calm down. Uh, how did it feel in your mouth? I don't remember. Okay. Felt good. Did yeah. you have a gag reflex? Did you throw up a little bit or no? No. Did he go down on you? Yes. Oh Did you jizz in his mouth? Maybe. Huh? That's a yes. Wait, wait, hold on. Yeah. Uh, you, you, yeah, you did. And did he? Did he swallow it, or did he spit it out? I believe so. He swallowed okay. it. So he swallowed it. Okay, can we? And you wouldn't give him the same courtesy back. Wow. You. Wow. How I dare you? It takes longer to come. I want something. Did you give him a hand job at least? Like a little bit of work? Come on. During okay. that tent. We're both holding it. So it was a double. Jimmer, are you actually interested in this? Well, are you not interested? It's an interesting story, I think. Well, I think that's the end of that sound bite for some reason. <laughs> uh, do we have any more sound bites that we could play? That was kind of cool. It's old school, baby. Please, God, don't. What? Come on, Ganji. Pull up your old sound bites. If not, uh, we shall uh, uh, convene another time. Thank you to 
Maddie sarcasm, sarcasm, sorry. <laughs> Lord Beerus, everybody for uh, coming in here and having a good time. Appreciate that. It's always fun. Let's see here. Transition there. There we go. And we're off, baby. I'm going to play some music. Probably not. You know what? I'll see y'all next time. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much, much for watching. watching. I, I really, really do, do appreciate, appreciate all the love and support. support. Be, sure Be sure to hit, hit that, that red, red subscribe button, button on, on YouTube, YouTube with the high for your daily Reddit, Reddit video fix. fix. With, with peace, peace and love. Peace, peace and motherfucking love, love, baby. Well, people, you just heard it. That guy is so full of shit. His tape did exist. He did play this for young children, seven years old and up. You can see him even thanking his chat, uh, which makes me sick about this. This was played for very young minor children. We're not their parents. This isn't for us to play in front of them. And number two, it's a very disgusting tape to play for young kids. They don't need to know about blowjobs and about anal sex and things like this. It just blew my mind that he would actually play this for young children. And you know, as parents, if we don't stand up for these kids, nobody will. I know I don't want to be like uh, this big Cape Crusader, but you know something? One thing I will stick up for is kids and people that are abused. And here, this is just unbelievable that a grown man would sit there and play this for young boys and then ask them questions about it later. This is the type of guy he is. And I don't know, he had his kids taken away years ago. So, um... There's something here. I don't know what it is. He doesn't have a criminal record. Not saying he's going out molesting children, but he is grooming them. It's just odd behavior. And we can't give him a pass on this because once these guys get their hooks into these kids and they have a thing, they don't change back. If we can't, you can't take someone's sexual appetite and tell them who to like and who not to like. So basically, I'm asking you guys to give me a hand, go into his chats, warn these people, He's back into these Reddit communities with these young children. I don't know what his hang-up is, or I know he wants to make a buck, but listen, he ain't making a buck on my, like, you know, I'm not going to sit by and let somebody who talks with children like this get a pass. Anyways, I hope you'll help. Anyways, you all have a good one, and thanks for your time. This shows you what a piece of shit this guy truly is.